Youth runner here with Maddie Gullickson on my right, Lila Golem on my left uh, from Waisada. Uh, obviously, you ladies command the respect that people are coming now from North Carolina uh, to, uh, to race against uh, you ladies. Lila, obviously, it's only September 20th. The name of the game for the group is November and, uh, and December. But just, uh, the, uh, the, the fact that you, the, the tradition, the history, the legacy of Waisada can attract a group like Cardinal Gibbons to come and race, much like you attracted Cherry Creek, you know, to come and race, you know, uh, multiple times. Like, how, uh, before we talk about, like, the race itself and the outcome, like, how proud does that make you that, you know, people, not just from the Heartland or the Midwest, like, now from the Southeast, want to come and race against the best in Minnesota? It's actually insane. I'm so lucky to be, like, able to race on this team because, like, I don't know, my the whole point that I joined this team was because of how great they were and, like, just watching them as, like, I wasn't a runner is just crazy to see how amazing they are. Maddie, uh... I'm going to be completely transparent that uh, probably at the top of the list of the people that I wanted to see healthy and smiling out there today was you. Uh, certainly you are. Certainly you're, uh, you're in great form. You know, just for, for people that don't understand because they might just look and say like, it's, you know, it's a cross country race, like, you know, and, but when you've had as much time as you've had off, you know, the same way that like when Abby had as much time as she had off, like what two days like this mean to you? Uh, you know, time irrelevant, place irrelevant, outcome irrelevant. Just, be, just being with the girls and being back out here at West Polestad, what does it mean to you? Yeah, I just think that being out for a while just makes you so much more grateful to be here with the team, be with these amazing girls like Lila and the rest of my ways out of teammates here to cheer me on. It makes it so much more special to be able to see a course like this and race in a fun environment again and just be back into it. Most definitely. You know uh, better than anyone that it's like, hey, if, if we win on September 20th, and obviously you have, you know, uh, that come back against Cherry Creek is the thing of Waisada Legends, you yeah. know, and then obviously the great girls did so great last year, but uh, but just to, for the group to be tested, you know, to have to respond. Obviously, Jasmine is in a situation coming back, you know, much like you had to be patient in coming back. We know that she's going to be significantly better for the group in November and, uh, and Lord willing, December, you know, than now. So just uh, how important is it for the group to be tested and challenged to kind of see like how we respond, not only on the course, but against competition, the level of Cardinal Gibbons? I think that's really important to be against competition like this now so that we know what we can work on and what we did well in this race. We've had a few team meetings about working on how we can improve in our races, what went well, what didn't go as great. So I think that it's cool to have a good team like this to push us and to kind of see where we stack up for things. Lila, you just showed uh, uh, so much composure, you know, for, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, this is a big atmosphere. It's a, it's a, it's a big environment, but it, you know, it, 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 it didn't seem like uh, the moment was, uh, was too big. Like, how affirming is this? How reassuring is this? How validating is this for you to be able to have a performance like this, you know, now for you to be able to build on? It's honestly great. Like, I just like, when I'm running, I just look for my teammates because that's how we push each other and we communicate. And I guess I probably wouldn't be where I am without them on the course too. And Maddie, obviously, n not just during your rehab and your comeback, but even during the course of like, Two years ago, and seeing how you know how brilliant it was you know, uh, for the team, you know, not only here at you know state regionals and uh, and NXN, just how important patience is, right? Like nobody's going to win NXN on September 20th, whether they win GRIAC or not. Like just how important is it going to be for this group, especially Jasmine, just you know, just to have grace, right, and just be like, it's going to be okay. Like we're going to be fine, but you know, because you have one of the best coaches in the United States and one of the best team chemistry and camaraderie in the United States, like it's going to be okay. Like how important is it going to be for this group just to be self-loving and supporting and just, and just have grace and patience? I think it's super important to have patience, to support one another, and just to be there for one another because we're all going to have our good days, we're all going to have our bad days, and just knowing that your teammates are all going to be with you every step of the way is a super important thing to know. And it just helps you run so much better when you know that your teammates are going to have your back. Awesome. Lila, last thing, uh, it, it just it, it, in, in terms of you know, understanding because this group is 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 such a, a strength team. Yeah. Like that, you were able to apply that strength in the workouts, especially like in that last two K, that last K coming up that that, uh, that last hill and whatnot. Like, how how encouraging is that? You know, how optimistic are you now at the fact that you tackled it the way you did? I'm actually I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season because I just like when I'm running these races, I just think back to our workouts that we do, and everybody pushes each other super hard. And they all just like watching them apply themselves really makes me want to push harder. Fantastic.
still the best in Minnesota, still the best in the Heartland, uh, and I'm sure that if they didn't already have enough inspiration and motivation for December 7th, uh, it's to make sure that they get to see Cardinal Gibbons in the rest of the country again uh, in Oregon. Uh, but, uh, for, uh, for right now, really encouraging place to be, not only for, uh, for Maddie and, uh, and Lila, but the, uh, the rest of the Wise Women. Ladies, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thank you. Go Trojans!